for me, a good pair of jeans and a good pair of boots are a staple in your wardrobe, more if you are into a heritage style. I want to share with you my two new additions, a good pair of jeans and a good pair of boots. See you inside. We have here the two parcels. They're going to start with the a small one and then let's move to the big one. Put apart this and this is a small one. Let's gonna open this quickly to see what we got here. And then and iron heart. Iron heart. This is a pair of jeans that I bought it from Iron Heart. That why I bought this first at 25 ohms. Second, I changed a little bit the cut. These are a straight top ref, uh, 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 fit, triple, uh, triple eight, you see here, triple eight, extra heavy, size 36, length 36, which if we go by numbers, according to the measurements, is 36.5 and 36, that's the measure, actual measurements taken by the, the team of uh, I, I, Iron Heart. Okay, why I, I, I borrowed this? First one, um, I start to try to change a little bit the, the to try the other fits of Iron Heart. Uh, and I try first with one of these triple uh, eight or 888, uh, 21 ohms. Um, and I really enjoy and like it that fit. Then I decide to go for 25 ohms in triple eight, and the la the next gonna be a 634 uh, in 25 ohms. But not this year, next year probably. But already have a lot of uh, 25 ohms. Uh, is the quality that um, the, the the usual quality of uh, iron heart, you know, with all the details. A thick leather patch, uh, hide and rivets, hide and rivets, uh, leather patch here, brow. These are sunflower and unwashed, that means a row, the rivets. This top to one button, top to button, but all the characteristics of the extra heavy. And the salvage on the edge of the fly. Bottom fly, iron buttons. Anyway, this is this is something that I was thinking about it for a long time because I really like a slim fit and usually wear uh, 555 or 777 uh, in, in heavy weight during the winter and, and uh, early spring and autumn. But this, this when I try the, the AAA uh, 888 21 ohms, they cock my eye, they cock my eye and then Let's go for it. Uh, I'm gonna give you my experience, and in matter of fact, I'm gonna uh, do a video about the, all the fits of uh, Iron Heart to make you an idea how fit everyone on me. Remember, I'm 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 a slim guy. In then, uh, if you have um, bigger tights, uh, you're gonna see what is the, the best fit for you. Anyway, these these are as meant to be, uh, 35 ohms, really thick denim, good details, uh, really good details. They're gonna do a review late with all the others, 25 ohms they own. Uh, and let's move to open the, the, other, um, the, other, the other parcel. This is something that uh, I buy doing the research into the boots. No, not long ago I do the, the, a video about the unboxing of the NYX Heritage Boots Falcon. And doing, keep doing my research, I found this brand which is, compared with the other brands, is very cheap. It's very, very cheap. Are made in Mexico, are not made in USA, which is, for some people, could be a downside, but uh, I'm really, really, really happy with with the, the reviews of these boots. Then let's try some heritage boots. Let me open this for you. What else I need to open here? Yeah. Open the parts here. And then Drew boots. 
these are the brand. Uh, are, are a lot of discussion in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in the web about this brand. And looks like the quality is up to the name. And our North Pacific West style, this is six inches. Let's open the box and see what, what we found here. Or where is the opening here? Here, 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 here. Okay, these are the boots. I open the other way. Uh, let's put aside. I put aside the box. Okay, it's oh god! Wow, a really nice. What are the things I found with these boots? Let's see. It's coming with the uh, kilts or fake tongues. Yeah, the kilts are very nice. Style logger. Uh, laces, leather laces, are lower heel, lower heel, and these are 11, 11.5 US. It's my regular size, and as I'm doing all the research, looks like uh, it's a similar sizing uh, for all Pac North Pacific uh, um, West, uh, Pacific Northwest boots. It's really thick leather, really thick leather, uh, if I compare it with the Nick books, I think has uh, better details in terms of construction than Nick boots than this. But this is a, um, just um, a, um, a view, just a direct view, and I don't know about the, how this this uh, fit or where. I'm gonna try these boots. Uh, I'm gonna try to do first. First, I'm gonna do the um, how is the breaking of the Nyx boots. I'm gonna do video how this fit. How this so far I since I bought the Nyx boots, I uh, boots I wearing those those Falcons in daily basis, in daily basis, even in the weekends. So far, this is the second week I wear this uh, Nyx boots. This looks really nice. There is one thing I, I notice is wider. That means you're gonna have really good space for, for your feet, uh, for your toe, your toe. Uh, really good space. It's wider than a normal. This is, they state that in the website. It's a modified 55 last. This is 55 last. Modified is 1.8, what it says, uh, in millimeters in each side wider than the regular 55. And looks, looks, looks really good. <laughs> Are made in Mexico. Uh, I am at, at the first view, the first glimpse uh, of you looks better still than next boots. I don't know, it's, it's, that's my, my impression. Eh? But let's be realistic. I pay for these boots 305 uh, pounds uh, and 68 uh, dollars of what's the, um, was the, the, the post, the, the when, when they mail the boots to me. Um, that's mean 360 and change. Uh, it's a re really good price, really good price. Let's see this, um, and the Falcon I paid $600, um, $590. Uh, then more the postage was 620, oh no, a little bit more, $650 in total. And this was three hundred and twenty-five dollars in in the website. In pounds, they, they cost me three hundred five pounds. Then, in terms of price quality, I think this is a really good option if you are on the budget. But anyway, uh, I need to test these boots. I need to test the boots. I'm I'm a guy. I boot guy. I wear boots in daily basis. I practically I don't wear sneakers. Uh, only when I go to the gym or do some uh, um, sport uh, activities, but otherwise. But, you know, the, let's talk about when I do the review and after testing well. Otherwise, it's too soon to say something, but looks really, really nice. Really nice. And the leather and everything looks really, really nice. Okay, see you in the next, and I hope like this video. See you on the next. Bye.